at the Norbridge Hall setting up our spring fairy garden. Hi, it's Sharon from Cherry's Fairies, and I'm here at the Norbridge Seniors Hall, and I'm going to set up our Spring Fairy display. So, well, I decided I would do a voiceover because there's a fan running in the background, and I think it's the heat that go they blow out into this f corridor. Anyhow, it drove me crazy when I was listening to my video, so I'm going to do a voiceover so you don't have to listen to it. So, and now I put a pretty green tablecloth, but it's actually a sheet. I bought at Dollar Tree. It was cheaper, and I put the big fairy garden on there, and I'm just shuffling it around a little bit more just to make room for more of the display that I have planned and those little trees were in the last display but I thought I'd use them again I thought they'd make a cute backdrop to this fairy garden with a little fairy on the swing in the playground so we're adding that to to the display this year and I think it looks really cute I'll have to glue it down good okay here I did a video on these tulips too last Thursday and I made a tulip garden because I wanted something bright and pretty to put on the table for spring and nothing says spring to me more than tulips and pansies and so I put this behind those the playground and I think it looks rather pretty just shuffling things around a little bit again so I can get this in here. You never know, you never know. I'm always moving my stuff around till I get it just so. Oops, my glue gun is not hot. So I'm just going to set it on there so that we can continue doing our arrangement while the glue gun hates up. Okay, now we have this other pretty little bouquet that I brought. I'm just going to stick it back there beside the tulips. Now I'm showing you that I brought these pink lilacs. And I got many, I have many, many of these pink lilacs. I thought it would be fun to put them all over underneath the fairy gardens just to brighten it up for spring. So that's what I'm going to do here. this time I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'd like to thank my regulars for always watching and I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers welcome welcome I'd like to let you know too that it's free to subscribe and you could give me a big thumbs up too if you like this content and maybe share it to some of your friends and leave me a comment. Here I'm just adding that third little tree in there. I think it adds a little bit more. And then I'm just going to finish off with the lilacs. 
Oh, one more thing. I have an arch that goes on the big fairy garden and that fairy garden we made last year. There's a video if you want to see that big fairy garden being made. Anyhow, the little archway fell off into that garden, so I'm just repairing it and gluing it back on. And then I'm going to finish up doing the lilacs around the rest of the fairy garden. the fairy garden I made last year. There's a little fairy there. She has her gardening book and they're having a little picnic. A couple fairies sitting on the ground and that's the tree I made. I made from a thrift store. This is the tree I made from a thrift store find and I put it in this garden. And that's the first part of the fairy garden. And over here I have a little waterfall. And I do have a video on how I made this. And there's a little forest here. It's got a couple of deer. And then we have a little archway to go up into the yard. And there's our fairy house where all the little fairies live. It's got a basket of vegetables on the doorstep and a broom. And some bales of hay and some little sunflower seeds. So this is a fairly large fairy garden. And this year I've just put lilacs all around the outside to trim it up. And beside this fairy garden we have a little bouquet of pink flowers with pretty little butterflies. And beside that we have some pretty tulips arranged in a nice bouquet with a few blue pansies in it and one yellow pansy <laughs> and if you look really carefully you can see a little bird in its nest right down in there she's hatching her eggs for spring pretty blue bird This year, I made a little playground and I used all Dollar Tree accessories. The little fairy on the swing, the little fairy on the swing, the little bird bath with a little bird in it. The little girl, she's sitting on a log. And up front here, we have a bunny rabbit and a welcome sign. So, this is the little, so, this is the little fairy garden I made this year to add to our spring.
And you may recognize those evergreen trees. I had them in the winter display. And I thought they would work just fine for this little fairy garden. So, this is our fairy garden for spring at the Norwich Senior Center. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed Fairy Garden Thursday and thank you Grandma Sandy for having this day in the week to make our fairy gardens and I'd like to thank all my new subscribers and of course send a big hug out to my regular subscribers Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you in my next video, which will be Surprise Sunday. Never know what that video is going to be. Anyhow, bye.